Late comic actor and filmmaker Moses Olaya, popularly known as Babasala, is celebrated by young creatives who got a rare opportunity to see his film Obeg Bono at the monthly True Nollywood Story event. More on that in this report. <laughs> Late comic actor and filmmaker Moses Olaya, popularly known as Babasala, is celebrated at the monthly True Nollywood Story event as his movie, Obegbuno, screens to young and emerging filmmakers. Um, for someone like in the caliber of Babasala and then his body of work and what he has done, we felt there's no better time to, you know, where we're all now talking about him right now and the work he has done and how his work impacted in what has become Nollywood today. Um, it was fitting to do a special on him. Um, comedy guru, amazing storyteller, amazing content maker. Um, for us, in um, for Nolly, Nolly First Friday, we know that there's a gap. You know, some a lot of the younger generation of filmmakers did not experience um, how Nollywood was birthed. You know, so it becomes important to always, you know, travel back in time through content and drama and storytelling to um, have to to how do I put it to embrace that experience and find out how we can, you know, take from where we're coming from and bridge that way to where we're going to. <laughs> The movie, which was recorded many decades ago, show a side of the dexterous actor and producer to filmmakers who were probably too young to have experienced the works of the veteran at the time it was created. <laughs> We felt that there was a disconnect between those of us working today and those who came before. And as it is for us, so it is for our audiences out there. Ideally, the NTA should have a channel that is dedicated to Nigerian film classics. The, way, the same way you have TCM, right? Anywhere else in the world, the NTA should have a channel that is dedicated only to those works so that you continue the tradition where there is forever a connection. But what we have now is a disjoint. A lot of people, a lot of young people today do not know who Babasala is. A lot of young filmmakers do not know who Babasala is. They never saw his film. They don't know who Hubert Ogunde is. They don't know any of the, of the old guys, right? So we need to continually emphasize the fact that we cannot really get where we think we should be going if we do not pay attention to where we are coming from, both as audiences and as content creators. This is of crucial, crucial importance. And if you ask me, we are failing. We are failing. And that's why we created Nollywood First Friday. Because we, do, we don't show contemporary films here. We only do old, so that we can stay connected to that reality. <laughs> Babasala died on the 7th of October 2018 in his hometown, Elisha, Oshun State. His aspiring filmmaker son, Ayo Deji Adejumo, sat in the hall and watched as other young production enthusiasts laughed at the ingenuity of one of his father's work. He was a loving father, very humble to the core, and is someone that is selfless. In the house, we, 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 we relate, he relates with us, the children, as, in fact, we are like apples of his eyes. So outside the screen, he's just, he's just, a, he's just a jovial person as well. I wouldn't say the way he was on screen is the same. Sometimes the character doesn't leave him. I'll say, but, you know, sometimes we will just do some things and we'll be like... What did you just do? you understand? So he, he was he was a selfless person. He's someone that he can stick his neck out for you. Even for the fact that he, he jokes a lot of it, but sometimes when he when he means business, he means business. You don't just you don't play with it, but the thing is he really goes to that to that level. He really goes to that level. When you see him on that level, just know that you are on your own. Number I want to buy, 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 I want
when he wants to write, he wants to create and all that. You just see that he doesn't open his room door like very early in the morning. And that's so rare. So after the morning devotion, because we do have morning devotion and evening devotion, so after the morning devotion, he goes back into his room and locks himself. So when he locks himself, just know that he's busy. He can, he can use... He can use 10, 15 hours in the room and you dare not this. So when you knock that you want to talk to him, you cannot see him. You can't. So that, that, that was, that's when he will be, you know, trying to, you know, put some things together. And of course, his, um, his experiences in life, like environment also um, gave him, um, what's it called, ideas and, you know, use that. Fast rising actor Gregory Ojefo speaks about the influence pre Nollywood works from actors like Babasala and his contemporaries have on today's production. He still has, he had, and still has a lot of uh, influence on the industry. I, for one, who does a lot of comedy gigs, you know, comic um, characters, um, feed off some of the characters he portrayed. He, um, I think, may, I make bold to say, probably one of the first few comic actors we had in Nigeria, and he really held his game down. So I don't think there's any comic act now, or who have come after him that, uh, are not one way or the other influenced by all he did. So it's a legacy that I'm sure is here to stay for a very long time. <laughs> The true Nollywood stories Nolly First Friday screens a Nigerian classic movie every first Friday of the month. <laughs>